Okay, Lumberjacks, I'm uh, going to check the run out on my arbor. We know it sounds bad, but does it really have run out? Using the new uh, dial indicator with the magnetic base. So, this little thing is hard to open with one hand when it's taped shut. Is the magnetic base. Hang on. Ta da! Very heavy and magnetic. Ta da! Uh, we can, we can, we can, what can we do? We can put it right here. Oh no, no magnet. Because it's got an on off switch. That's very cool. Okay. Sorry, I'm laughing. I just got a text from my son. You don't need to know. Um, so let's see, if I were to put this here, okay, I'm going to see if I can get this in here two hands, huh? I bet you're wondering how I'm holding the iPhone. No, you're probably not. You're probably smart. All right, so the magnetic base has an on-off switch. Can you even see in there? No, not really. I can't really get much light over here. I usually use my iPhone as a flashlight, but if I turn it around to shine the light down there, well then, I won't be videoing. Um, let's see, can we move the base a little bit? Ernie a time. Oh, not too bad. That was much easier than I thought. Okay, so I've mounted the... Uh, Who's he watch it in the thingamajig? And then I will turn this guy this way. And then what? Turn this guy. Darn, it fell off. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we'll turn that that way. Pick this guy up. Put him back on here. Tighten him up a little bit. I mean, that may not be the angle I want anyway. Let me get the actual uh, dial indicator out of the box. Okay. Comes with a spare battery. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, bought this at Harbor Freight. Uh, dial indicator was 29 bucks. The base was 14 and change. Um... So this is going to mount on there like that. Okay, let me set this back in the box. Get this screw off. I don't know why I'm wearing the headphones. Just so you can watch the cord dangle, I guess. All right, let me take... All right, you don't get to see the cord dangle anymore. Sorry, but you had your chance. All right, we're just going to go ahead and throw this on there. Worry about the positioning in a minute. Please ignore the, the labels that say China, if that sort of thing bothers you. It bothers me, but taking them off wouldn't help. I'd still know. And I'm old school. Um, you know, the thing is, I, I have a Chevy Avalanche. And I like uh, Chevy because it's an American-made car. But then I asked myself, is it better to buy an American car that was made in Mexico or should I buy a foreign car that was made in the United States? So I don't know. That's the, that's the dilemma. All right, so we're going to tighten this up. So, yeah, this is like maybe the wrong position. See what happens if I can fix it somehow. Oh, look at that. You put it right about here. And then lock it. Magnetic base thing works pretty good. Then I can do this. Hey, yeah, that's just about the right position now. Let's get this. 
right this now this way a little bit tighten this up I did not drop my iPhone I don't know what you're talking about Okay, so I'm getting that kind of close. This has to get tighter, though. I don't know, maybe that's going to need a lock washer or something. All right, now. This is the micro adjustment, which does what? goes that direction. Oh, well, I knew it was going that direction. You can't really change that. Hmm. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're still a little ways away from the arbor, and we need to put, according to the instructions, basically light pressure on the arbor. So, loosen this. Slide the whole assembly forward until I get light pressure. Hang on, I'm going to use both hands. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on and I, uh, I'm going to move it away. I'm going to zero it out. Then I'm going to move it forward. I'm going to have to use both hands for that, but see it's zeroed out. Now I'm going to move it forward. Now it's not zeroed out. Okay, so now I'm going to tighten it down. It says here. It says here in fine print I'm going to tighten it down. Okay, this is not going to be a fun video to watch. I mean, everything's back backwards and, and it's very long-winded and, and it's kind of silly. So now it's got whatever it's got that's in millimeters. Uh, now it's in uh, thousands of an eighth, so 200 thousandths. Now I'm going to zero it out now, at that point, and then I'm going to turn the arbor and see what it does. One thousandths, half a thousandths, one thousandths, half a thousandths. So it's a thousandths out around, if I believe everything. That's the, uh, I guess you'd call it the low point, and then it goes right back up, so it's just one little spot. Now, perhaps I should have even cleaned this arbor before I did this, um, although I don't think if there was anything on it, it would make it have a low spot, that would make it have a high spot. Okay, so let's just keep checking, half, one, and half. Half, one and a half. There you go. I don't know. Um, remember, well, I can move it a little bit by hand. Oh, look at that. I can go all the way to minus one with it. So there is some two thousandths of an inch of slop in there. Um, you, can't, you couldn't feel like it was moving, but it certainly measures that it was moving. You know, if I squeeze it right here, that goes to one and a half thousandths, and then I squeeze it back this way. Well, it doesn't do anything. Well, squeezing the actual arbor flange is probably not smart because it might tweak it. Um, but there you have it. Well, now it's actually. No, it's zero. That's scary. All right, well, that's it. I welcome your comments as usual. And um, if you made it all the way through this, you know, I'm sure you'll have something to say. And I'll catch you on the other side.